Hi everybody, my name is Kevin and I'm the Head of Business Development at Kraken Futures. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between index price and mark price. So when you trade assets on a spot market, you're exchanging one asset for another. When you trade assets on a futures market, you're actually buying or selling contracts that reference the asset. You're not buying the asset itself. So this creates a situation where Bitcoin futures are traded on completely independent order books from Bitcoin spot. But the price of the Bitcoin futures contract needs to reflect the spot price of Bitcoin. So the question is, how do you tie the futures price and the spot price together? And there are two things that ensure the futures price accurately reflects the spot price. That's called the index price and the mark price. We're going to talk about them now. So if we take a step back, futures are fundamentally in agreement to exchange value at a future date. So it's critically important to define ahead of time how we agree what the fair price of the asset will be at that future date. That's what the index price does. So the purpose of the index price is to provide the fair or accurate price of the asset. All futures contracts on every exchange will always settle to an index price. Now, every exchange tends to have its own index price. The index price on Kraken futures is provided by CF Benchmarks, who calculate one of the best known and most respected indices in the space the CME's CF Bitcoin reference rate. The CF benchmark index takes into account the real-time order book data from Kraken, Coinbase, Bitstamp, Gemini, and Itbit. And this index is absolutely critical to the successful operation of the exchange. The perpetual contract, the funding rate, is actually calculated using the index price. All fixed term contracts settle to the spot index price. So at the end of the term, the price of the contract will exactly equal the index price. The index price is also used to bound the mark price. So the index price ensures the contracts settle to the spot price of the asset. However, during normal trading, the futures price can diverge wildly from the spot price. So you also need a mechanism to ensure that the futures price stays broadly in line with the spot price during the trading day. That's what the mark price does. The mark price is, for all intents and purposes, the mid price of the order book. The difference is, unlike a true mid price, which can equal anything, there's a defined limit as to how far the mark price can diverge from the index price. So the mark price ensures that the futures contract cannot trade unfairly far from the actual spot price of the asset. It's an important protection against market manipulation, as well as innocent things like a fat finger order. The mark price is used to calculate your unrealized P&L. It's used to calculate your leverage. And critically, the mark price is the price you need to pay attention to for triggering liquidations. In conclusion, when you trade futures, there will always be an index price. It represents the accurate or fair spot price of the asset. Futures contracts will always settle to a spot index price. Generally speaking, the mark price is the mid price of the asset you're trading. The only difference is the mark price has a collar on it to keep it from diverging too far from the spot price. The mark price is the price to pay attention to for leverage, liquidations, and P&L calculations. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Please follow up with questions in the chat here or in Telegram, and I look forward to continuing with you. Thank you.